Today we're taking a look at some basic colour grading within iMovie. So what we'll do, we'll open up iMovie and down on our timeline we've got two different clips here. So you've got the option of either working through your colouring one clip at a time or you can hold down the shift button, select two clips and do them both at once. So for the purpose of this video we'll just select one of our clips the first type of colour correction or colour grading we're looking at is using the auto filters. So for this one, what we'll do, we'll go up to the filters button, just in the top right hand corner, I'm going to click that. Then we'll go to this clip filter button. So here are a lot of predefined filters that you can apply to your video. As you mouse over them, it will show you the preview in the preview pane on the top right corner. So for 90 or maybe even 100% of your applications, you should be able to find a filter here, which will give you a sufficient result. And it will save you having to play around with any of the finer details. Something else you can have a look at while you're here is this magic wand button. So if we click that, then iMovie will do its best to choose the best settings for you and there's no further steps that you need to take. What we'll do, we'll just hit the reset button and we'll uncheck that magic one button as well. The other type of color correction is the more manual method. So once again, we'll select our clip down the bottom in the timeline and we'll go up and we'll click the palette button, which is for color correction. We've got a few different settings here. And just remember, you've always got the reset button on the far right hand side. If you mess anything up, I want to go back to your original clip. So the first thing we'll do is have a look at this bar here. Here's where you can change your shadows as well as your highlights. So keeping an eye on our preview pane at all times to see how it's being affected by the colouring. We'll just drop down our shadows, add a bit more depth to that picture. Then also boost up our highlights. So you can see the brightness does increase significantly. Then in the middle, you do have three more buttons if you're looking to configure this a little bit further. So the way to do this, you grab the middle of the three, move it along the slider scale until you're happy with the result. And then you use the ones on either side, to then drag in or out. The next option you have here in color correction is for your saturation levels. So by sliding to the left, you're reducing saturation right down to the point where you go to black and white. And of course, dragging to the right increases the saturation. And finally, in your color correction, you have the temperature. So to the left, gives you the cooler blues, and to the right, gives you the yellow warm tones. So we'll just have a look at both of those. We'll slide it right to the far left, which gives you the cool blue tones. And if we go back over to the right, then that's the warm yellows and reds. So as mentioned earlier, you can hit reset and that will take us back to the original. So as you can see, just with those couple of small changes, it did make a big difference to the video. So we'll just roll through those again. But probably for most of your applications, the best method is going to be just go through to the filters, choose your clip filter, choose one of the predefined results, and you should have something here which is going to get you 95% of the way there. Have a play round, it's really hard to break things in iMovie, it's very straightforward. That's how to do colour corrections in iMovie. Hope that you enjoy. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more videos.